U.S. President Joe Biden has introduced new stringent rules for government spending. The Buy America executive order was a result of a campaign promise, and it was designed to get blue-collar workers to vote for him, the same ones that voted for Donald Trump in 2016. This policy is definitely not a new one for America, and one of the things that is allowed within the policy is that everybody is still allowed to hit the like button for the YouTube video. The procurement contractor estimated up to $600 billion per year for American workers and manufacturers. According to President Biden, the Trump administration liked to talk about this but never actually implemented it. But Biden says this is gonna change on his watch. He's gonna be raising the standards on content and there's gonna be a strict oversight on all these contracts. So the White House will actually have a Made in America office attached to it where they're gonna be policing all of these waivers. If any Canadian manufacturers wanna get their contracts passed in the states, the Made in America office will have to approve them. Hey Carl, where's this contract from? Well, it's from Canada. File that under shred. Biden says only under very limited circumstances will foreign contracts be accepted in the states. He claims it hasn't happened before, but it's going to happen now. For public transparency, waiver details will be posted on a U.S. government site. The plan is to increase the amount of U.S. materials. Government agencies need to file progress reports twice a year to see if they're following the new rules. Biden doesn't think that American manufacturing is a thing of the past. He says that it was an arsenal of democracy during World War II, and now it must be part of American prosperity. The Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, has been telling President Biden that both Canada and U.S. workers rely on each other. They both benefit from integrated, secure, and resilient supply chains. The Prime Minister and the President will consult diligently on these matters. Canada is the U.S.'s largest exporter of goods, more than China, Japan, U.K. combined. 32 U.S. states rely on Canada to be their number one customer, but the Buy America restrictions will continue to be a problem for Canadian businesses looking to get contracts in the states. With that virus that's going around and we're all trying to get back to normal, maybe Canada and the United States should join some forces and work on that supply chain between the borders. But American CEOs everywhere are applauding President Joe Biden. Manufacturing is the back backbone of the United States, and this will create more paying jobs for American workers. Canada does have ways to address the Buy America programs, but procurement officers may not want to risk using non-US products. If you thought it was going to be super easy to negotiate with the United States now that President Donald Trump is gone and President Joe Biden is in, you are wrong. Canada, you're going to have to come to the table and you're going to have to take something away. That's what negotiation is about. So we are going to have to take away effective immediately Justin Bieber. We're taking him back. You guys can't have him anymore. If we can't get contracts in the States, we're taking him back and we're taking back Drake. America will never be a pushover. It's always gonna be America first. But we'll see, this could just be a big show. I know President Biden is still committed to talking to his allies, so we will see what happens in the future for the contracts. Canadian suppliers and contractors will need to remain on guard. Maybe Joe Biden didn't mean Canada. Maybe he just meant China. If you guys want $10 of free stocks, make sure you guys use my link in the description for Wealth Simple. It's a zero commission trading app. When you deposit $100 and trade, you get $10 for free for stocks. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit the like button, you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.